I really don't think you guys are ready for this video. I don't think I'm ready for this video. Are you guys seeing this seriously? This is the Mason Francis Kirk Dijon advent calendar. It's technically not an advent calendar. This calendar is actually designed to be open after Christmas and be something special in between the Christmas and New Year holiday. And I think that is so special. Unfortunately, we're gonna spoil it. I'm gonna open it. So if you don't wanna be spoiled to know what's in here, maybe not the video for you, but you guys, this thing, it's pricey. This comes at a price. I mean, I'm sure you guys thought that considering it's MFK, but this calendar for seven days of gifts retailed for over a thousand dollars. I bought it off the MFK website, which, you know, ordering off a brand's website usually is the best experience, especially from luxury brands. Look at this box that came. You're like, what did you get? What is in there? Samples. Samples are in here. Look at this beautiful box. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, the detail, the luxury, it's there, okay? I'm serious, guys. It came like this was the actual actual gift. When it's just samples, when it's just samples, like absolutely love the attention to detail, you know? Not gonna lie, it's kind of what I guess you expect for spending so much money, but I love and appreciate that it's actually what's happening. The other special thing about this box is that there are only 625 of them made, so it's pretty limited overall, but again, they're very expensive, so let's just get into it. So it kind of comes apart, and then in here is the actual box. Oh my gosh, I'm trying not to jostle it too much. I don't want to break anything obviously here is the outside of this box it's so beautiful it has like these clocks on it but there's something almost celestial and like old world maps looking about it which I just feel like is just stunning so so beautiful again attention to detail the luxury here now I don't know what's gonna be in here there's only seven items okay I don't think this is one of those advent calendars where you're gonna get like your money's worth you're not saving a bunch of money this is a luxury it's not meant for that this feels like something completely different so I'm nervous to open this and also there's a part of me that feels bad opening this because I love that he's trying to bring magic to that week in between Christmas and New Year's which can kind of feel like a lull you know there's such big holidays on either end and I just think that's really special but alas I'm gonna open it now for us and for everyone okay the plastic is off and it looks like you can just pull up on this oh my gosh this feels like I don't even know look at this there's all these different boxes, all these different dates. They have the actual dates you're supposed to open them. Oh, it feels like so effed up to open them. Not on the date, but here we go again. We're gonna start on the 25th. That would be Christmas if we were gonna give this. That would be the day. I am beyond excited. I can't believe I got this box. Why did I, what am I doing? All right, in the first box here, this is the, I think this is one of the newest perfumes, 724. And this is more of a freshie. I have sampled this in store. It's definitely fresh, it smells citrusy, maybe a little floral, maybe a little woody, but mostly just citrusy and light and like, you know, maybe aldehydic or again, kind of airy. Very nice, like everyday clean girl kind of scent. There's aldehydes in here, bergamot, jasmine, sweet pea, mock orange, white musk, and sandalwood. I don't know if I'd want a full bottle of this, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited. This is a really nice size. I'm sure this retails for a pretty good amount overall. A very nice first gift, I can't lie. Like, like, this is luxury. This is like, oh, so this is how the other half, okay. <laughs> I love it, very nice. <laughs> Let me perch this on my shoulder. But even these little boxes, like how they open up, it's just the attention to detail is totally there. I just love that. It's so luxurious. All right, turning the box around, going to number 26, day 26. All right, in here, it's like a little drawer um, and it looks like it's different oils almost. So there's a la rose. There's Baccarat Rouge 540, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. I'm just in love. I'm excited to have the oil because I know for other people, they're like, it lasts so long. My skin just eats through perfume, okay? There are few, few, few perfumes that actually are just like staying on me. And so to have an oil just to help with that longevity and also have on the go is amazing. I am just obsessed with this scent, obsessed. It's like probably my number one scent in my whole collection. Like I love it. And then the last oil here, this one is Oud Satin Mood in the oil. Ooh, this is like sexier. I've like sampled again like all of these, but the only perfume, like I said, that I have in my collection is 
Baccarat Rouge. This one smells sweet. It's like a little bit deeper. It has something a little bit powdery going on. Very excited to keep testing this on my skin and again, have more scents from the range. Really see if there's another one in there. That's a hidden gem for me. So that is day number 26. All right, day number 27. Oh my gosh, they're all different. Every single drawer, how you open it, they all are a little bit different, which again, I just love the attention to detail. It really is so fun opening this. I can only imagine every day being so excited to see what else is in there. So in day 27, we got two different vials here. This one is Mambo Sepin. Sepin? Not exactly sure how you say it. There's actually two of the scent. So it's the same scent. I don't think it's different. Yeah, it's the same one, but I'm pretty sure this is like the pine kind of scent for a holiday. I know it comes in a candle. I did not know it even came in a spray. Huh. To me, it's like aromatic and kind of green. It's not overly sweet for a, a more pine tree type of scent. It's a little powdery, but it's like opening up to something really cooling. There's something like holiday about it still. I'm very into that. I wanna see if there's any notes on, on that specific one. Okay, I'm looking this up and the name of this is the French version of Oh Christmas Tree, which I think is the cutest thing. Reading some of the description on this, it says an aromatic portrait of the traditional mythic Christmas tree. It's woody, subtly resinous scent paints a comforting picture of a pleasant walk deep in a snowy forest. And I totally, totally get that. I know it comes in the candle, but I have not seen it in the actual sprayer, which makes me so freaking excited. I'm going to look at the website after I open everything because I don't want to be spoiled. But before I bought this, I had my husband like look over and just be like, you know, like, should I do it? I don't know. You read it. You tell me. Guide me on what I should do. So um, I wonder if these are like exclusive to the calendar itself or what, but so freaking exciting. I do love me a little exclusive, okay. <laughs> All right, moving on to day 28. I never want this to freaking end. Wow, wow, a full bottle of Baccarat Rouge. I mean, for the price, don't get me wrong. <laughs> You know, we spent a thousand dollars on this. It's not a free bottle, although it feels like it. It's so special. I am so excited for this. You guys know, I, I have a love. I mean, I'm serious, okay? This is the first bottle I ever went through. Absolutely obsessed with it. Knew I had to get the big one. I'm already like halfway done with this one. Love this so much. And so I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to have another one. It's just such a good scent. If you haven't smelled this before, I highly suggest going to any of your counters that carry MFK fragrances and giving this a whiff, testing it on your skin. There's also an extra version, which I do like as well, but just the original Baccarat Rouge 540 is absolutely freaking stunning. It's saffron, jasmine. There's some, I think, fur in here. It's sweet yet airy. It feels sophisticated, but still playful. The amberwood and ambergris that's in here I'll give it this like, to me, a toasted quality along with their cedar. So it's just beautiful. Highly, highly recommend it. Again, like I said, it's one of my favorite perfumes, obviously. So although I don't necessarily need this at the moment, I think it's amazing that you know, this I believe is the most popular scent from his entire range. And to get a bottle in this is just amazing. It feels amazing. Again, even though for the price, you probably expect it, but it still feels like such a gift. All right, I don't think we can top after 28. Day 28 really killed. I loved that one. So exciting. Let's go to day 29. <gasps> Okay. In here, it's a laundry detergent. I've actually seen these. I've been tempted to pick them up off a of Twisted Lily, actually. This is the Aqua Universalis uh, Scented Universal Laundry Detergent. What a bougie way to do your laundry, to be honest, right? I'm excited to put this in my laundry. Mm, it smells good. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like a guy's cologne, but like the light version, like a light, airy, still kind of sexy daytime cologne in a way. The notes on this are lily of the valley, amalfi lemon, bergamot musk, orange blossom, orange, and woodsy notes. It definitely has that kind of like bright, uplifting, citrus, floral, woodsy thing. So very excited to try this in my laundry. <laughs> I'm like, this is what's so funny. It's like, oh yeah, I share laundry with people, right? I live in an apartment building, so I'm like, <laughs> bringing my bougie ass stuff to my shared laundry. Yeah, no shame in it. I'm excited <laughs> to, I think I'm gonna do sheets with it because I think that would be so nice on sheets. Moving on to day number 30. This one feels pretty big. Let's see. Oh my, oh my gosh, you guys. It's the shimmering body oil in Baccarat Rouge 540. Look at this. Wow, 
Okay, I don't know what this retails for. I kind of want to look it up. I think it's only in the hundreds only. It's only, I mean, <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, so the oil retails for 215, which is pretty pricey. What am I talking about here? Please someone come and shake me. So beautiful. This is something I probably wouldn't have purchased, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited to have and to use. I'm not always a body oil person, but if there's one freaking body oil I'm gonna want on me. Oh my gosh, the spout on this is so tiny, but it's like perfect so you don't get too much. It almost feels like a dry oil. I don't, it doesn't smell the same to me. Hopefully once it dries a little more, I don't know. It almost smells a little stinky. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can't lie. I'm gonna have to keep testing that. If I feel like this is off for some reason, I might email them. I'm gonna keep testing it though. Let me know if you've used this oil, do you find it smells a little bit different? Because it almost had, initially, it's gone away now. It's just like in that very top. Almost something a little bit, I wanna say like vinegary, which I wasn't expecting, but I'll have to keep using it. I wanna really make sure before I like, obviously send that email, but just in case it performs differently, it is like a different formulation since it's a body oil, but absolutely stunning with the shimmer that's in here. I'm excited to keep trying that out. All right, I believe the last day here is day 31. And in here, we're getting a mini candle. This is the Mambo Sapin candle. And mm, as a candle, it smells sweeter than the actual fragrance I feel like, which is interesting. I'm picking up more on the vanilla and just like a sweeter snowy type of fragrance. So that's kind of exciting. I'm really excited to burn this. I would love for this to be the full size candle. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow, there's this other little container. It had like a little arrow and in here, there's this little satchel. I think this is the last day. So let's see what this is. Is this like a lighter? What is this? What is this? Oh, now this is stunning. This is like a golden case for travel size, which I'm assuming any of the other ones. Ah, this is the Mon Beau Sepon. Is that how you say that? Is that how you say that? I don't know. But those fit in, so it's interchangeable with any of the little ones that you get. Very beautiful really weighted, heavy, stunning. Another little Baccarat mini in there. All right, so that's the calendar. The seven days of freaking amazing gifts. Holy shit. I put more of the oil on and I don't get that smell. I don't know what that was initially. So I don't really know what that is. Again, I'll keep testing it, but let's recap. Let's take a look at the website. I have oil everywhere. Oh my gosh. Day one opened with 724. A great size of this, I feel like. Looking online, this is the 1.2 ounce. So this retails for 170. I'm gonna do a little running total. Day two, you're getting the roller balls of all the oils, which are again, beautiful. I really love these for travel, all of that. I think these might be extra instead of just like straight up oil, but you can get four packs of the elixirs for around $140, but usually it's the same scent. So you'll get like four of the same scent in these same vials. So I'm just going to put 140 since you're getting different scents in here. Although there's nothing, I don't think that's like a hundred percent accurate in price necessarily. Day 27, or day three, we got the Mambo. This is actually a home fragrance. So it isn't a cologne, it's an interior scent. I'm telling you, I don't see it as a fragrance at all on the site for home or anything. It's just the candle. So I think it's really cool to get an exclusive and I can't wait to spray this around my home, especially in conjunction with the candle since we did get that, but let me not get ahead of myself. I really don't even know how to price that. I don't, I don't know what that's priced at. Different travel vials, depending on the fragrance are like 145, but then this isn't an actual fragrance it's a home fragrance. I'm just gonna put it at 145 because it is still like exclusive, so there's value there. I don't know. These are just like made up numbers kind of, but I kind of want to just get an idea of overall value since it is so expensive. Okay, day 28 was our full bottle of Baccarat Rouge 540. I really do love that this was such a heavy fragrance in the box. Like, I think some people might not like that, but considering this is like the most popular scent, again, from the line, I think it's really awesome, regardless of if you have some of this stuff already if you actually love it, you're gonna go through it. Like I've gone through my bottles and this size bottle retails for 325. Okay, we're getting pretty good on value actually. I thought that it would just be pretty even overall, but we might actually do okay here. The detergent retails for $55. Again, very excited to try that. I kind of like that there's something a little extra in there. Those little bougie touches of like your laundry detergent, your hand wash, your toothpaste, those little things. I love having a luxurious 
moment in the little daily items. Okay, day number 30, we got the oil again in Baccarat Rouge 540, shimmering body oil, absolutely beautiful. That retails for 215. And then on the last day of the year, we get the mini candle in Mambo Sapon, which smells so good. I cannot wait to burn this. I'm not the biggest fan of these smaller candles. I do wish we got a bigger size. I'm not gonna lie, I really do, but I'm still really excited to try this one out. But that wasn't the only thing we got that day. We also got the travel with Baccarat Rouge 540 and these little flask type things are very expensive. I'm pretty sure this was kind of the secret gift of the package even more so. I don't think this is actually listed, but this is called the Globe Trotter Gold Edition. I'm already like, totally messing it up with my fingerprints, but this travel spray case retails for $170. I don't even know if that's with a scent in there. I'm hoping that's with a scent in there, but whether it is or isn't, this is $170, which is a really great value. And as for the value on the candle, it's hard to say because they aren't really sold separately. You can get like a smaller uh, candle set. Like there's a trio out for the holidays with three different sets, which includes one of these, and they are a little bit bigger. Those are three point 0.35 ounces and this is 2.6, but that still puts us at probably around $45 or so. Okay, so all that added up, I believe we're at a value at around, it's hard to say, it's not exact, but $1,270. So you're definitely getting, I think, the full value of what you're paying for. You're not necessarily getting a discount. I feel like some advent calendars or these kind of festive countdown calendars have that as an element to it, but this is more the experience, the luxury of it all, and I am pretty happy happy. I don't know if I would buy this for myself just on a normal day. I probably would just like get the items I'm really interested in and maybe save a little bit of money in that way. But as an experience, as a gift, if somehow you just have the money laying around, this is a beautiful gift, decadent, luxurious. I mean, everything I expected it to be, to be honest. And I just feel kind of grateful and lucky to be able to open it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video and seeing what's in here. I'd love to know your thoughts on this calendar. I do have some more advent calendar coming up so I hope you guys will be excited for them. I've just had such a great time opening them and this one I think is going to be one of the highlights for sure out of the whole season but thank you so much for watching. I will leave the advent calendar playlist down below because I do have some other videos on my beauty channel if you're interested in seeing what else I've opened. But like I said I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!